Welcome to this screencast which will demonstrate the DDD sample application and how it works. This is the, the uh, welcome page of the application which you will find uh, at localhost port 8080 slash DDD sample after you've started the application. Now there are three different interfaces available, a public cargo tracking interface, uh, an administration of booking and routing interface and a standalone application that's used for that's used to register handling events. So let's start with the cargo tracking interface. Looks like this, it's very simple, just enter your tracking ID and as the hint says here, try tracking ABC123 or JKL567. So let's do that, ABC123. Right, and we can see that it is now in Port New York. Its estimated time of arrival in Helsinki is March 12. The next expected activity is to load this cargo onto Voyage 0200T in New York. And we can study its delivery history. We can see that it, that it was received in Hong Kong on March 1, loaded onto Voyage 0100S in Hong Kong, and then unloaded off Voyage 0100S in New York on March 5. So it's now waiting in port. Now let's try the other one, JKL567. We can immediately see that this cargo has been misdirected. And if we look at the last event here in the, the delivery history, this red cross indicates that this event was not expected. It was unloaded off of Voyage 0100S in New York on March 5, and then it was loaded back onto Voyage 0100S March 6, which was not according to the itinerary. I can see that it's currently on board Voyage 0100S, of course, and we don't know, we can't determine the estimated time of arrival in its destination, Stockholm, anymore. Now, the administration of booking and routing interface looks like this, and here we can see a list of all the preloaded cargos ABC123 and JKL567. See their origin, destination, and that they're both both routed. If we click on the tracking ID, you can see the details for cargo ABC123. Uh, its arrival deadline is March 15th at noon. Uh, there's a possibility of changing the destination here. We won't do that right now. And we can see its current itinerary. It's going from CNHKG, that's China, Hong Kong to United States, New York City, and from New York City to United States, Dallas, finally from Dallas to Helsinki, where it will arrive on March 12th, uh, well in time for the arrival deadline. Now we can also book new cargo, so let's do that. Here we select the origin of the cargo, so let's say China Hangzhou, going to Netherlands Rotterdam, and the arrival deadline will be March 31st. Now we book the cargo. Here we can see that we have been assigned a tracking ID. Uh, the origin Hangzhou, destination Rotterdam. The arrival deadline as we specified March 31st. So initially this cargo is not routed, so we need to do that first of all. Here we are presented with a number of route candidates, which are different routes between the origin and destination uh, that satisfy the route specification, uh, including the arrival deadline. Uh, and we can assign the cargo to either of these routes. There are two to choose from this at this time. You can see that the first one leaves Hong Hangzhou on March 9th and arrives in Rotterdam on March 19th, whereas the second one arrives on March 20, 28th. So we're going to assign the cargo to the fastest route. And now we're back at the details. We can see that the cargo is now routed and it has an itinerary. Now we're looking at the incident logging application, which is a standalone application that we're using to register handling events and 
so that we can simulate progress of the cargo. And we're going to register a number of, of events for the cargo that we've just booked. So let's say on March 7th for cargo 4F5F9581 what happens is that in, I'm sorry, Hangzhou, HGH, cargo is received. Receive is, is the first event that happens in cargo shipping. That is when the um, domain-driven delivery company takes over possession of the, of the cargo from the manufacturer. So let's register that. Right, there's no feedback here. If we track this cargo, then let's track the cargo. See that it's now in port Hangzhou. As estimated time arrival in Rotterdam is March 19th, 5.05. And the next expected activity is to load the cargo onto voyage o 2 t in Hangzhou. And the only thing that has happened is that it's been received in Hangzhou. We take a quick look at the itinerary. We can see that it's supposed to be loaded on onto voyage O two W O T in Hangzhou on March 9th, and loaded in Melbourne, Australia on March 10th, and then loaded onto O three O one S in Melbourne on March 12th. So let's register a couple of more events uh, on March. Nine. This cargo is supposed to be loaded onto O two W O T H G H Hangzhou. Type is load. Right. Timestamp jumps back here. Uh, then on March tenth, cargo is unloaded off O two W O T. This time we're in Melbourne. So let's track it again. Right, seems to be on track still. Import Melbourne. Next expected is to load it onto 0301S in Melbourne. But what happens now is that somebody makes a mistake and this cargo is instead loaded onto o voyage 0400S in Melbourne. That's not what the itinerary said. It was supposed to be loaded on a different voyage. And if we track the cargo again, we can see that it's now been misdirected. It's been loaded. The incorrect, the unexpected event is here in the delivery history, marked by Red Cross, loaded on voyage 0400S, uh, caused the cargo to be misdirected, and we no longer know the time of arrival in Rotterdam. And we're now on board Voyage 0400S. The second method of registering handling events into the system is to copy a file, a tab separated file of containing a handling report to a configured directory, which might be fronted with a web upload interface or FTP server or, or um, extracted from a mail attachment or something like that. So it's it's an alternative to the web service interface. The format of these files look like this. This is a sample handling report file which is available in the distribution uh, under source test resources, a file called handlingevents.csv. And this contains four handling events for the cargo ABC123. It's loaded in it's loaded in New York, unloaded in Dallas, loaded in Dallas, and unloaded in Helsinki. And if we copy these, if we copy this file to configure the configure directory, which is slash tmp slash upload, uh, the directory is periodically scanned by the application every five seconds. And if we go back and track the ABC123 cargo again, we can see that these four events have been registered. And it's now import Helsinki and the next expected activity is for the customer to claim the cargo in Helsinki. That's the final event in a typical, a typical cargo lifecycle. 
that's when the responsibility of domain-driven delivery ends.